Hello folks, welcome to the station here. I'm demonstrating a K3 with the LP pan and the EMU 0202 board. And we're going to show you basically when using this software, it greatly uh, improves the noise blanking capability of the radio and getting rid of power line interference. I'm going to show you a horrendous power line I have on interference that I have on 21 megahertz on the CW band. Okay, this is the LP pan, and what you can see here is a horrendous noise floor. It's about minus 86 uh, or 83 to 86 dBm. And if we uh, switch that to S units, if you're not familiar with dBm, let's put it in. Get about a S6, S7 noise figure here. And let me turn up the volume here, and you'll hear the noise. You can hear it's pretty noisy. Now if I engage the uh, down here in the panel on the NAP3's SDR software's receiver and I engage the SDR, now I'm hearing some DX stations on CW and I get an S2 noise level, or actually the signal level is about S2-3 when the signal's not there it's about S1. There's some CW signals coming in and then I'll take the noise blanker off. And you can see uh, now the signals are just not copyable. The band scope is uh, pretty much washed out. Can't see any signals at all. If we put the noise blanker back on, we can uh, hear our signals. And you can see the uh, waterfall recovering. You can see that we do see the signals now on the waterfall display. So hopefully this will give you an idea of how uh, indispensable the NAP3 with the LP pan and the K3 and the EMU 0202 sound card work and that's uh, using my K3 here with the LP pan coming out of the IF. Hope this helps. Hope you get an idea. I had a horrendous noise problem for two years now and even with all uh, the best radios out there just couldn't eliminate it and even the K3 had trouble with it but uh, using the LP pan and this and the um, EMU 0202 Creative Labs IQ uh, sound card and the uh, NAP3 uh, SDR receiver uh, off the IF coming out of the K3 have a pretty nice receiver here. As you can see there's our band scope, you can see the uh, CW signal and everything looks fine. We can identify DX stations. And if I take the uh, noise blanker off, you just see everything gets wiped out. So 73s, and hopefully this will give you guys an idea of how to fight noise with the LP pan and the NAP3 SDR receiver software.